Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, your girl's Patreon channel is up and running. So if you would like to support your girl, you'll be able to find a link in the description box below. I do post two exclusive videos per week. So go check it out if you feel called to. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do you need to know right now? So pile number one, you're going to be the tree agate crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the red agate crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the tiger's eyes crystal. So again, pile number one, tree agate crystal. Pile number two, red agate crystal. And pile number three, tiger's eyes crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi pal one, welcome to my channel. This is Stella BD Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the tree agate crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, what do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? So we have the 10 of swords. Oof. There's going to be an abrupt ending. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here, an abrupt ending. Mm. Okay, what do you need to know right now? It, I'm getting like it will be painful. Yeah, ooh. For some of you, it could be a relationship with the sun and the two cups that is about to end abruptly for you. It's going to feel like an attack. That's what I'm getting here. That's what Spirit is saying. It's going to feel like an attack. It's going to feel like it came left field or maybe you thought that you haven't seen the sign, but something is going to be illuminated to you with the sun card. This person could be a Leo. They could be a Gemini. And I heard Pisces or any water sign or air sign and then leo but there's going to be an abrupt ending in a connection it doesn't have to be love for some of you it could be friendship as well so just keep in mind that you know the two cups is not always like a love relationship like a romantic it could be just like love between friends love between like you know partnership like when it comes to business and stuff like that because you don't want to go into business with somebody that you don't like right it doesn't make sense um it's, it's just not going to work because like if you guys don't like each other, you guys are not going to trust each other. So then the business partnership is not going to be stabilized. Okay. There's not going to be trust and mutual respect if you guys don't like each other. So this is what I'm getting here. There will be some sort of abrupt ending with somebody that you are either in business with, you are in a romantic relationship with or friendship. Some of you could even be a family member because with the Libra energy that we have right now that we are in, because we're still in Libra season and then the eclipse just happened like, the new moon happened like on the second or was it yesterday? And I think it was like, yeah, it was on the second. It depends on where you are in the world. It might've been like uh, on the third for you. But what I'm getting here with this energy is that something is being eclipsed out of your life and is forceful. Like that's like the universe forcing this 
to happen for you okay because they there, i feel like there's something else that you need to know about the situation yeah you see the king of wands so whoever is being removed from your life is an abusive person maybe you didn't know that this person was abusive this is the reason why it's being forced out of your life maybe some of you i feel like you could have like um did some sort of like cleansing or ritual or you've mentioned like maybe you did a prayer that spirit remove anybody who's not for me some nobody who's meant to be in my life remove them and then this person is being removed you're going to gain some sort of clarity with the seven of cups as well in reverse there's going to be a clarity about our king of wands in reverse so this person could have been like very abusive or very competitive also a player energy okay so this person like if this is like an ex or somebody that you were dating or starting to date and then you thought it was going to go somewhere maybe you missed some sort of red flags that this person was showing you that they could be abusive or verbally abusive or emotionally manipulative there's an energy about this person that is not right okay what you need to know right now oh yeah the lovers this person could be a gemini i did say gemini some of you could be gemini's here or this person could be a gemini but what i'm getting here is like the you're going to be kind of like forced to make a choice or the choice is going to be made for you by your ancestors that's what you need to know or let's say for instance you ended things abruptly with somebody and you're wondering if it was the right choice this is your confirmation that you've made the right choice because the lovers is upright when it's in reverse that's when it's like a bad choice a bad option okay so what do you need to know right now that's too many cards what do you need to know right now my pile number one yeah what you need to know is that there's a king of cups coming towards you somebody who's more loving nurturing understanding okay it doesn't have to be a water sign but it could be but somebody who's in tune with their emotions somebody who's emotionally intelligent is coming towards you with a love offer or a romantic like a friendship it could be anything with the two cups and the lovers okay it doesn't like i said it doesn't have to be romantic but whoever is re being removed out of your life, this King of Wands, that you've already removed or you're about to remove, this is like, that was the right choice. What do you need to know right now, my pal number one? What do you need to know? Yeah, Five of Cups. Some of you, what you need to know right now is that it's okay to cry over what was done, like the spill, spilled milk, because it says there's no sense in crying over spilled milk, but it's okay for you to cry over the situation because you may have put invested a lot of time, emotion into this connection, and maybe some of you feel betrayed, but it's part of the process, it's part of the growth. Allow it to happen and then just release it. Okay, spirit is saying not to hold on to the pain, cry about it if you need to, and it's okay, like cleanse your soul, cleanse your spirit. But don't hold on to this negative energy, okay? Yeah, we have the high priestess. What you need to know right now is that your all the spiritual downloads, the intuitive downloads that you're getting at the moment are correct. You're right on the money. Like whatever you felt like you needed to cut off somebody abruptly, it was the right thing to do. Maybe in the moment it felt like a rash decision but it was the right decision because this person was is not who they claim to be okay this person is abusive with the king of wands in reverse what do you need to know they're violent what do you need to know right now because the king of wands is somebody who will fight okay put their hands on you slap you around that's what i heard slap you around yeah we have the four swords Okay, so what you need to know right now is that it's okay to rest. It's okay to take a break. Okay, it's okay to gain back your energy. Okay, this is what you need to know right now. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? Yeah, oof. Okay, wow. I'm being called to take all three. So we have the Eight of Cups. So some of you are definitely emotionally withdrawing from this. And that's okay. Like Spirit is saying, like, do that. We have the nine of swords. So, ooh. okay. As you are emotionally walking away from this situation, somebody else is in the nine of swords. So it's this king of wands in reverse 
is in the nine of swords and they're gonna try to come back and apologize to will you back in so this is like the hoovering period so this person could have narcissistic tendencies especially when it's the king of wands in reverse the king of wands in reverse like all the kings in reverse have different aspect of narcissistic tendencies okay and then the emperor in reverse is like a full-blown narcissist because the king the emperor in reverse is all kings together but the kings when they are in reverse they just have different aspect of narcissism okay depending on you know covert or overt like this person is a grandiose narcissist they have those type of traits where they feel like how dare you break up with me or how dare you cut me off who do you think you are like nobody says no to me like boy bye <laughs> like what <laughs> like this is the energy i'm getting from this person like you can't even take them seriously like boy go cry me a river okay but some, what you need to know right now somebody is coming back this king of wands is coming back to wheel you back in with fake apologies remember those days that we used to no we don't remember those days we're trying to forget those days okay move on so what do you need to know right now guys i can't make it up the seven of swords okay i can't make it up Who? this king of wands is coming back to apologize to you and play games they have an ulterior motive okay they have a trick up their sleeves with the seven of swords they can't be trusted this person is deceptive what do you need to know right now my pal number one yeah page of wands like they're gonna come in all nice and lovey-dovey enthusiastic try to play on your emotions like you know how some people like you know at the beginning of the relationship it's like all all like nice sweet uh, you have like your rose colors glass on your glasses on and you're not paying attention to like the red flags because you're you're enamored by the person you're you know you're they're sweeping you off your feet they're telling you all the right things that you want to hear they're being so charming this is where this person is going back like they're trying to wheel you back in so definitely narcissistic tendencies the hoovering is about to start for you this is what i'm getting here this is what you need to know and spirit wants you to stay strong what do you need to know right now yeah something is going to be illuminated to you so this person could have leo in their chart or they could be a leo or that could be you because we have the sun card twice here so this person is definitely coming in with some sort of like a manipulation when it comes to your emotions they're gonna come in strong okay with the page of wands a lot of passion here a lot of enthusiasm here they're gonna try to make you forget about all the horrible things that they did to you and the reason why you decided to abruptly end the connection okay they're gonna try to play on your emotions because they worked in the past and spirit wants you to not go back what do you need to know right now yeah some sort of secret is going to be revealed because we have the moon and the sun so something is being eclipsed okay so what do you need Ooh, toxic the devil underneath it all what you need to know is that this person is obsessed with you obsessed with the devil obsessed ah they are obsessed with you like this person is like trying to bind you to them they don't want you to leave or move on from them and they don't want to move on from you okay i feel like you know what i'm getting with this connection is a back and forth they could have been like a back and forth maybe for a year or six months you guys been back and forth like you would break up for three months and then come back together break up for two weeks and come back together break up for and then you got tired of this you're like well, you know what i'm not doing this anymore because it's the same thing and you know what I'm getting here? It could have been like the same reason why you guys broke it off. Whether whether it's friendship or relationship or family, it was the same issue. So like this person would play on your emotions, tell you all the things that you needed to hear, but they wouldn't change. It was always the same BS. The same reason why you initially left them. Like they're not trying to change. They're just trying to keep you bound. And you made the right choice. Yeah, this person does not want to lose out on this opportunity with you with the fourth cups in reverse. Yo, whoever this is, their ego is bruised. Duh. <laughs> okay, so what do you need to know right now, my pal number one? What do you need to know right now? Yeah, we have the full card. So what you need to know right now is that you need to take that leap of faith elsewhere. 
Like you don't need a new beginning with this person. You need a new beginning for yourself. There's a much better person out there for you. The King of Cups is coming. You have a King of Cups coming. Whether it's a woman or a man, somebody who's more emotionally available for you, somebody who's more emotionally intelligent, somebody who is ready for a commitment, okay? I feel like this person is not emotionally available. They just want you to be there for their own personal selfish needs, but they don't really care about what you want and what you need in a connection. It's like you, their needs are being met, but not yours. What do you need to know right now? I can't make it up. King of Wands in reverse again. This King of Wands is persistent. A real pain in the butt. They're persistently trying to pursue you. They're gonna come back, that's what you need to know. They're gonna come back, get ready. This is like Spirit saying, mentally prepare yourself for this person's comeback. They're gonna hoover, and they're gonna hoover hard. Like if you try to reject them, they're gonna continue until like, until they feel like, okay, like I can't get back with this person or I have to find someone else to go play with. But they're gonna be really persistent like a, a pest okay what do you need to know right now my pound number one what do you need to know right now yeah this person is gonna come in with some sort of burden Ugh. annoying it's not even for me and I'm just getting I'm annoyed with this person <laughs> like the and their energy is very annoying it's like oh like just stop already you know what I mean like that's the energy I'm getting from them. Like from you, my pound of Like you just want this person to just leave me alone. Like just move on. But they don't want to. Like it's going to be like challenging for you to get rid of this person. That's what you need to know right now. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, we have the four of wands. Yeah, this person's coming to disrupt your four of wands. Your stability. They don't like the fact that you're stable without them that like you them not being in your life does not affect you like you're still stable you're still happy you still have other things going on so it's like even if you're heartbroken because obviously you cared about this person like you were dating them or you were friends with them like or a family member you still care about this person you still have love for them but you rather love them at a distance and this person finds this very challenging that you're able to move on with your life as if this person never existed and that really hurts their ego it's like they want you to be in pain the same way that they are in pain but it's just like okay well just get some therapy or something wow they want you to lower your guards down they want to defeat you because seven of ones in reverse represents defeat Letting your guards down, like, you know, being defeated. Because upright is like you have your boundaries up and you are reinforcing them. In reverse, it's like you're lowering your boundaries or you're admitting defeat. That's what they want. You need to know that. You're the queen of wands, upright. Whether you are a woman or a man, you're extremely confident. And this person doesn't like that. They're coming back in for another round, whatever round number it is, round number 25 or something, whatever it is, because I feel like you've been going at it with this person for a while now. And you finally, with the Ten of Swords, you finally put your foot down and like, you know what? Enough is enough. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. Move on with your life and leave me alone. But what you need to know right now, this person is going to come back in, trying to wheel you in and they're going to go really hard this time because they know that energetically you're over them. They could sense it, they could feel it, and they know that it's going to be challenging to come back and lower your guards to come back in. But the Seven of Swords is here, so just be mindful that this person, whatever they tell you is not the truth. It's just to wheel you back in. Okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the red agate crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? 
So my pile number two. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? We have the three of pentacles. Some of you could be reconciliation or some sort of partnership on the horizon for you. And also I'm gonna like public recognition for all of your hard work. It could even be promotion, but some sort of collaboration is coming in. What do you need to know right now, my pal? Ooh, you see, <laughs> oh my God. Nine of cups and the three of cups, okay? There's definitely like something to do with threes. Everything comes in threes. They come in threes, like three blessings coming towards you. Uh, definitely a wish fulfillment very soon. Something that you have been manifesting for a while is coming to fruition. That's what you need to know. It's going to bring you a lot of joy. You're going to be celebrating very soon. Some of you are going to get an award. If you're going to some sort of ceremony, you're going to win an award for science, for a project. This is what I'm getting here. Some of you are going to be winning a, an award for a project or something that you did. Some sort of like a project that you worked on with the Three of Pentacles. You're going to be celebrating. Yeah, we have the hangman. What do you need to know right now? Some of you could be Pisces here. Ooh, tower. Something unexpected is going to happen for you as well with the tower. It's going to be a good tower though. It's not a bad tower. Some sort of like... Um, temporary pause is going to be lifted so let's say if you were on probation your probation is going to be lifted maybe you needed to be in a three months probation in order to get something to get an award to get a scholarship to maybe like you were in a probationary period in order to test your skills or something it could be at work your probationary period is going to be lifted sooner than three months it's going to be unexpected change for you when it comes to your work life, your home life as well. Some of you are going to be moving unexpectedly very soon. What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know? Oh, we have the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. Okay, we have all the water sign here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So some of you could be water signs here or maybe something to do with Scorpio season coming up very soon at the end of the month. Some of you could be walking away from something that you were intuitive, intuitively called to do so with the high priestess. That's what you need to know right now that your that intuitive nudge for you to move away from something or someone is the right thing to do with the eight of cups to emotionally withdraw yourself or move away or pull away is the right thing to do at the moment. What do you need to know right now? Ooh, didn't I tell you? Six of Wands. Uh, the moment that you decide to leave something behind, a person, a situation, a home environment, the Six of Wands is what's going to proceed. Like there's definitely wish fulfillment, public recognition. I did say that at the beginning with the Three of Pentacles, but there's going to be some sort of public recognition based off some sort of action that you've taken in the past. It could have been like three months ago, nine months ago, but it was definitely this year that you took some sort of action. Maybe you were not seeing the results initially, but you're going to see the results right now. Some of you could have been like three days ago. You decided to do something different and now you're going to see some sort of success with the Six of Wands that mm, I heard some of you had a premonition because that's what I heard, a premonition. Okay, so whatever premonition that you had that told you to walk away from a situation, it was the right thing to do with the high priestess because it's definitely leading you to success. Some of you, whatever you were holding on to with the eight of cups is what caused you to be in the hangman position where there was a lot of stagnation and delays. Or like you were holding, being held back or be in temporary uh, pause, okay? That was like divinely guided by spirit. Like you were supposed to take a temporary pause because like there was something that you needed to see or needed to learn in that moment. What do you need to know? Yeah, sun card. So something is going to be illuminated to you with the sun card. 
there's a lot of success coming towards you for sure my pal number two that's what you need to know right now you're on the right path so if you haven't moved away or pulled away your energy with the eight of cups as of yet from a situation or person or a place you're going to do so very soon and once you do so because you're going to get that intuitive nudge that success is going to proceed right after it won't even take long it's going to happen like instantaneously as as soon as you walk away like things are going to start progressing in your life things are going to start moving in your life you're going to start noticing that you're going to make more money like money's going to come in fully uh, freely for you your manifestation is going to come in like at a speed of light like when you like when you say oh i want this it's that you're not going to wait days weeks for it to come to fruition it's going to come like like that okay this is what i'm getting here what do you need to know right now my pal my pal number two what do you need to know right now my pal number two we have the five of cups so somebody is definitely going to be in regret when you walk away somebody's taking you for granted my pal number two what do you need to know right now yeah putting something to rest what do you need to know right now a lot of traveling is going to be on the forefront for you in the future you're going to be traveling a lot what you need to know right now is that you need to start taking action towards your healing journey as well with the four of swords and there's something that is still bothering you from the past that you thought that you have you have gotten over it but you're still harboring some sort of like negative feelings towards it with the five of cups spirit is saying that you need to let it go that's another reason why you are in a stagnant energy is because you're holding on to some sort of past experience past pain past like um trauma for some of you that you haven't uh healed from as of yet but i feel like for a lot of you this is gonna come to an end very soon what do you need to know right now what do you need to know right now just one card please spirit what do you need to know right now Ooh, a lot of you are in your empress energy okay that's what you need to know right now you are leveling up spiritually emotionally physically as well like your hard work is about to pay off or like if you've been working out with the empress energy i feel like you have been invested in your beauty in your physical appearance and we are in libra season so it's time for you to beautify your space continue making those candles i don't know that's for somebody specific somebody's making some sort of candle uh, from scratch continue to do so your candles smell amazing i heard lavender and cedar i don't know guys that's what i heard but it smells amazing like the mixture of fragrance that you decided to put together for this specific green candle guys i don't know that's what i'm getting it smells amazing okay so continue with your what you need to know right now is that this candle is going to be one of your top seller like continue to pour love into it continue to make it with love with the empress energy what do you need to know right now Ooh, we have the devil what do you need to know right now some sort of toxicity you you cleared your energy from bondage yeah now we have the star yeah you've healed you cleared your energy from bondage but i can't show both the cards because they have nudity on them but this is what i'm getting here with the star upright and the devil in reverse a lot of you have healed okay and there's some sort of blessing that's coming towards you what do you need to know right now yeah we have the two of swords okay finally i could show them okay so the devil in reverse the star and the two of swords this is what you need to know right now it's like take heed of the healing that you've done and don't go backwards somebody's gonna come back and try to tempt you to go backwards maybe some of you stop smoking stop drinking stop partying stop gambling there's something that you release yourself from with the devil in reverse that someone is gonna try to drag you back in because that's their only way to connect with you unfortunately you guys don't have nothing else in common that's what you need to know right now that's the reason why this person is trying to get you to smoke or drink because there's no other way for you guys to relate there's no like if you remove the smoking and drinking you guys don't have nothing in common other than that and this person does not want you to see that they want you to be blindfolded to it 
and that's what you need to know because you're like leveling up you're in your empress energy you're beautifying your life whether you are a woman or a man you're going back to the gym you take, you're taking care of your body and this person is seeing this and they're like yo like you're leveling up and you're leaving me behind you're leaving me in the dust and i don't like that come back here like I'm not comfortable with your growth basically this is what I'm getting here somebody's not comfortable with your growth and they want to reel you back in yeah we have the judgment card what do you need to know right now somebody's definitely having a tower moment what do you need to know right now wow they really don't like when I call them out eh? so we have the temperance card and judgment so you are cleared of all your iniquities okay you are definitely like you've learned your karmic lessons you are being blessed with a new beginning that's what you need to know right now you did the right thing for walking away from this situation if you haven't walked away yet like i said earlier you're gonna walk away you're gonna be intuitively pushed to walk away and some of you like i said you're gonna get like um an epiphany or like a premonition some of you are gonna see that you have premonition powers like abilities oh i heard just like phoebe in charm like you're gonna have a premonition then maybe it's gonna be your first premonition or you're gonna reactivate your premonition abilities because maybe like you it was blocked off because you were smoking and drinking so spirit like kind of like blocked it off for you not to smoke or drink like for you to heal from this first before they could give you back your abilities. But a lot of you are transmuting this energy with a temperance card. You're healing, like you're transmuting, you're taking your, your experiences from the past and then you are improving yourself. We have the, what I'm getting here, we also have the moon card. Something is being, is coming to light. You're gonna see something that maybe you're not gonna be pleased with. Yeah, I feel like that's what you need to know. Some sort of secret is gonna come to light and you're not gonna be happy about it. I feel like you're gonna feel blindsided or irritated. What do you need to know right now, my pal number two? What do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? We have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's gonna try to sweep you off your feet. I'm telling you, somebody's coming back in. They wanna wheel you back in so that way you could start smoking and drinking again. They're gonna try to charm you with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, memories of the past. Somebody could even be coming in with an apology because maybe they're the one who got you to start smoking or drinking. Like they give you your first spliff. Okay, if you don't know what a spliff is, is it's a joint okay <laughs> like like yeah some of you i feel like this person's gonna that same person that got you into this addiction because i feel like this addiction was never yours to begin with it was like somebody else that got you in it and that's the reason why you were able to fight it off or to beat off this addiction because it was never yours like you were never really the type of person to want to smoke or drink like you always had a clear head okay what do you need to know right now but yeah this person's gonna come back in okay what do you need to know right now my pal number two yeah somebody's in the eight of swords they're in the eight of swords because you're leveling up like you are about to be in another level in your life where things are going to be moving for you very fast you're, gonna, you're the empress somebody doesn't want you to move forward in life they don't like the fact that you're leveling up in a way that they can't they can't match you they can't they can't come with you basically yeah you see because you're choosing a different path like you're choosing a better path for yourself and you're about to get a wish fulfillment what do you need to know right now maybe some of you went back to school you've graduated from college or university so now you're about to get a better job yeah sun card some, something's gonna be illuminated so you could be dealing with a leo um you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio um sagittarius we have leo twice libra taurus okay and we also have pisces twice because we have the hangman and the moon card 
yeah you could be dealing with any of those side or that could be you but something is going to be exposed to you something is like you're going to see the reality or the truth of the matter and you're going to make an informed decision that's going to allow you to move away from a certain situation that is not conducive to your growth that is holding you back or that has been holding you back for a long time the devil again guys in reverse i'm telling you you're healing some sort of addiction or you've healed some sort of addiction or you released yourself from some sort of bondage people pleasing gambling it could be even like a scx addiction or something like that but you're healing from it and somebody doesn't like that somebody is trying to keep you stuck and bound because like i said there is n there is no other um like you guys don't have anything else in common other than that that addiction it's like that trauma bond basically okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot. I catch you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the tiger's eyes crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three, what do you need to know right now? What do you need to know right now? We have the six of cups. Somebody's missing you. Somebody's being nostalgic right now. They're missing you a lot, guys. They're crying over you. Mm, this new moon in Libra, huh? When they say karma is about to come back, and bite you in your bum it doesn't have to be like karma in a sense where you're gonna get something bad is gonna happen to you could it be like you realizing that somebody's never gonna be in your life again and i feel like this is what's happening to someone that they'll never get a chance to be with you again or have you in the Ooh, i can't make it up eight of cups guys somebody that you walked away from is in tears somebody is suffering crying over you somebody that maybe they are the one who walked away from you they, they you know they are the one who ghosted you stopped talking to you stopped answering the phone like rejected you and now they are in regret for their decision somebody is like eating their words now i see 555 on my clock yeah we have the sun card Okay, so what you need to know right now is that this person is looking for you. This person could be a Leo or a water sign. Or that could be you. But somebody is looking for you. You make them happy. Somebody feels like they lost, yeah, ten of pentacles in reverse. What you need to know right now is that ever since you walk, like they walked away from you, they lost a lot, not just in a sense of financial loss, but also emotional, spiritual. There's a lot of like lack. This person is in lack ever since they dropped you because they're the one who left you. They left you hanging. They betrayed you. Maybe they cheated on you. I heard this person's a coward. That's what I heard. They're a coward. This is somebody who run ran away from you because the connection was getting um, too serious or like you were very close to figuring them out. Like this person was not genuine with you. They were not being sincere about their feelings or their intentions for you. So because you were very close to figuring them out, they decided to walk away instead of like sticking around because they didn't like how the connection was going and they didn't like um basically they didn't like the uh the challenges that you pose or like you were challenging this person to grow in a sense where they didn't want to do it 
like they wanted to stay in that energy what do you need to know right now yeah we have the nine so this person wants to come back in but they're coming back with like disruptive energy This is what I'm getting here with the Knight of Swords. They're coming in with disruptive energy with the Knight of Swords. They're coming with the swiftness, quickness, and it's just like not working out. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, I'm telling you somebody from your past is missing you. They could be pulling on your energy. Maybe you're... Okay, if you have been feeling sad out of, out of nowhere, depressed, or just like drained that's not your energy that's what you need to know is somebody from your past that's going through it and they are trying to tap into your energy this person is trying to manifest you back into their world but it's not working because you have like um, a strong energetic protection so if you start thinking about somebody from your past that's not like somebody like a year ago this is more somebody six years ago seven years ago ten years ago twenty years ago depending on your age that you haven't spoken to this person in a minute and then you have forgotten about them but this person now they're going through it like this is catching up to them basically what they did the way they left you this person left you hanging and the way they did it they the way they, they went about it was very like a coward and that's why spirit is like you know they're getting back the karma with the ten of pentacles in reverse yeah, like you've healed, like you, you've you healed, you're in the star energy, you're celebrated, you're shining bright. And this person is looking back at you. Yeah, this is definitely a lover. We have Gemini energy. So we have Leo, um, Aquarius, and Gemini here. You don't have to be those signs, so this person doesn't have to be those signs. But you're embodying the star energy. This person wants to heal this connection with you because they're seeing you shining they wish they never made the decision that they did abruptly with the eight of cups to leave you leave you hanging some of you could be your, your baby daddy or your baby mom that decided to up and leave and not help you take care of like your child that you guys made together not all of you only if you have children and the person left you high and dry they're definitely going through some sort of karma right now it has taken 10 years for this karma to catch up to them because this is a karma that they won't like this this is like a spiritual lesson that i'm getting like this person's gonna have to learn for a long time the long like the longer it was that this person did not go through their karma that's how long the karma is going to be so if it was something that happened 10 years ago and they're only starting to pay for it now this karma this this lesson is going to be a 10 year lesson it's like the the time that the time span is going to be the time that the karma is going to last for so if it has been 20 years and they're only starting to pay for this karma 20 years later it's going to be a 20 year karma that's what i'm getting here for this person because i don't know what they did was really foul they left you in a way where you didn't even deserve it it's not like you guys just broke up and then you know it was like a mutual um agreement it was more like this person just up and left you high and dry left you hanging in a way where you don't do that to somebody okay and this is what they're getting right now what do you need to know right now like you're getting your justice yeah three of swords i'm telling you this person's getting heartbroken this person is experiencing some sort of pain and they want to come back in and work things out with you but this person is going through so many things that they can't really balance things out with the two of cups okay but yeah, this person is definitely heartbroken over you with the lovers and the three of swords. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, this person has so many things that they need to juggle that they can't keep up. Oh, that's too many cards. What do you need to know right now? Just one, please. Yeah, you're getting your ten of cups. Okay, so maybe you've been going at it for ten years and you if it took you... Okay, whatever this person did to you, you finally heal from it now. And this is the reason why they're getting their karma now. You were part of this person's karma. So like the karma lasted, is going to last as long as, as wow, I can't even explain it properly. Cause this person doesn't want you to know this. Okay. That's what she needs to know. Like it's not coming out right. They don't want me to tell you they're okay. So 
let me find a good way to explain this okay so let's say for instance 10 years ago this person got you pregnant on purpose i don't know why i'm getting that something to do with pregnancy okay it's not for everybody like the pregnancy example but this is the example spirit is giving me because i feel like it's the clearest example i can give so this person like got you pregnant they left you high and dry while you were pregnant and it was on purpose it wasn't like they got you pregnant and then they got scared because they didn't know what to do and then they just decided to left even though if they did that that's still a coward move but this person purposely did that so there was like a cowardice move but also there was some sort of evil intent behind it and then they just left you on purpose to hurt you to break you and they were like kind of like hoping that you would stay stuck in that energy that was pure like evil intent that this person did this out of and maybe now your child is 10 years old, nine years old, and you finally accepted that this is what this person did. And then you forgive them and you moved on and you're finally healing from it. It took you that long. Now, because it took you that long to move on from this, it's going to take them that long to go through their karma. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's the same thing. Like, let's say if this person, like, I feel like there's another example that I could give that a lot of you could relate to. Maybe this person, you housed them, okay? And this person stole money from you, but it's not like a $20 or $100. It could have been like your, your savings, like maybe you were saving to buy a home and maybe you had 20K saved up, 30K saved up, and this person just cleared out your bank account and left you high and dry. Maybe you didn't even have no money to pay your rent. And they left you high and dry when you're the one who housed this person you're the one who was supporting them when nobody wanted to have them in their in their house and this person just robbed you it took you maybe t 10 years to rebuild your finances or something like that where because this person got you so bankrupt that it really took you that time not only they bankrupt you like you know financially but also emotionally and spiritually because you have to heal from that too it's not just about the money there is an attachment to money because money is rooted with your energy as well and your emotions because when you're broke you're most likely not going to be happy about being broke right so this is what I'm getting here. These are the two examples that I experienced asking me to like speak on so that way it can make sense to you guys. But this person, what you need to know right now is that the fact that you've healed from what they did to you 10 years ago, 20 years ago, now they're about to get their karma. This is why the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. This person's going to want to come back in, trying to get you to, yeah. Six of Swords, Spirit is saying that to walk away, keep keep moving forward. This person's gonna try to come back in. Hey, stranger, as if like nothing happened. Like, didn't you rob me? Like, what? And now you're a strangering me? Boy, bye. What do you need to know right now? <sighs> Guys, I can't make it up. Three of Cups, they wanna reconcile with you. I can't make it up. I can't make it up, guys. What do you need to know right now? For some of you, it could be like, yeah, yeah, like an ex, an ex-friend, a uh, baby daddy, baby mom. Ugh. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, you see? Oh, my God. Uh, you definitely leveled up. You graduated to Empress Energy. This is why this person wants to come back in. They want to put something to rest. They want to put, you know, water under the bridge. They want to move on. Let bygones be bygones. Oh, now they want to come back into your kid's life because they want to make amends. Or like they want to, they want their family back. This is what I'm getting here. Somebody saying they want their family back. Like, boy, bye. No, you're financially unstable and you need a place to stay. Liar. What do you need to know right now? Yeah, that's probably like what it is. Yeah, eight of cups. Continue to stay in that emotionally withdrawn energy. Do not let this person come. Guys queen of pentacles in reverse i can't make it up some broke ass is coming back okay somebody who's greedy that's why i was giving the example of the person who robbed you because the queen of pentacles she's very greedy like she's a very like she's somebody who will sell her body for money okay this is somebody who will this is a gold digger so if you're a man watching whoever is this person from your past they're a gold digger 
you need to know that do not fall for their like i'm so sorry don't fall for it even if you still have feelings for this person if you fall for it my pal number three i you will regret it i'm just telling you right now you will regret it what do you need to know right now what do you need to know right now my pal number three what do you need to know yeah you need to be stoic here yeah five of pentacles oof i'm telling you this person's <laughs> seven of cups they're coming in with illusions they're in the five of pentacles this queen of pentacles in reverse is broke as a joke and that's the reason why they want to come back they don't they don't have your best interest at heart they just want to reconcile with you to have a place to stay to play with your heart again and leave you high and dry okay so what do you need to know right now they just need a place yeah with sun card something is like you're gonna see the truth about this person and you're gonna be glad that you finally heal from this okay three of swords i can't make it up what do you need to know right now my pal number three yeah three of wands spirit is telling you to keep moving forward do not let this person drag you back in for some of you, it could be family members as well, like especially that situation with big being robbed. Like, yo, you you house this person, and like, and the worst thing is like this person may have blocked your number or like changed their number on you. Especially like, my God, man, like you were helping this person. This is what pisses me off. You see, five of wands, they're coming in with conflict, man. If you say no to this person, they're gonna. They're going to fight you. Maybe even like physically. Because the five of wands is physical altercation too. Just like the five of swords. The five of swords is like words. But it could turn physical. If the words are really heated. Why do you need to know? I can't make it up guys. Ten of swords. This is what it's going to lead to. If you allow this person back into your life. And you fall for their like pity party. Their, their sob story this is what they're gonna do the ten of swords they're gonna bring the ten of swords for you what do you need to know right now yeah six of pentacles this person is looking for you to give to them they're they're looking for a handout they don't really they're, they don't have a remorse the the only reason why they're coming back to you my pal number two the only reason why they missed you is because now they burned so many bridges that they feel like hmm I don't even want to say it. This person views you. I don't want to say it because I just don't like the way this person's moving. Wasi. Okay. I don't like this person. I'm sorry. I don't like who this person, whoever this is from your past. Like, just don't please pile number three. Don't, don't take them back. I don't like this person's energy at all. This is like a slimy individual. Like, they're grimy. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is a grimy person. They're willing to do whatever to save their ass. Yeah, just please, pal number three, don't go back to this person, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.